Hey everybody, it's time for yet another smoke detector unboxing video. This is like my third one within the last week or something like that, I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and hopefully this one won't be as hard to open because we just taped it. Are you in frame? Yep. wrap and more tape. Okay, there it is. So this is the Smoky Stover smoke detector. It looks like it's, what's the model? Model number 4001. Okay, that's different from the ones that we, uh, first of all, that's different from the ones that we've seen already. Um, because the ones that we've you normally seen are model 4002, but notice the picture on the box. It's a lot different from the normal looking smoky stovers. So let's go ahead and open it up. And there it is. Wow. Wow. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. Let's see if I can't get the unit out of this holder. Okay, there's the unit itself, it looks like. There's your manual. And the mounting hardware is in there. I don't think it came with a battery, unless there's a battery inside the unit. Put that back. So yeah, this is the Smoky Stover smoke detector. Now these were made by Gateway Scientific. In fact, it's probably labeled Gateway Scientific on the back, if I can get the bracket off, but let's uh, take you down from here first. So yeah, um, now, you probably have seen these before, these Smoky Stover units. They were um, modeled after, actually, here's the box first. They were based on this comic strip, strip back from, like, I think it was like the 50s or 40s or something, called Smoky Stover. Um, and Gateway Scientific, I guess, just bought the rights to the comic and they used it um, as marketing for their smoke detectors and so they have these nice little comic strip type inst instructions on the back which is pretty pretty funny pretty interesting um, very cool and then on this side you got your limited warranty and there's the gateway scientific logo yeah contents smoke alarm mounting hardware 9 volt battery so there's got to be battery in here somewhere but it doesn't look like it's in the unit, so I guess they just removed the battery, unfortunately. That's too bad. Um, that side is just some features. Top, um, I don't think, $6.99 price tag, maybe? And then on the bottom here, it looks like it was sold at some place called... I can't really read it. It's like half something Thurlands? Netherlands, Otherlands, something. I can't, half the stickers removed. I've never heard of a chain like that. And there's that side, model number 4001. So here's the unit itself. Now the model 4002, which we're most used to seeing, um, it looked more like the Sears models that Gateway had. Here's, here's one of the Sears ones they have. Um, Gateway sold their design to Sears to specific, make a, it was like they used the base from the gateway and they made a cover specifically designed to be sold at Sears. But the uh, model 4002 looked almost more similar to this. It had this sort of multi-level uh, design with a, like rings around here and it had the vents looked almost like the the Sears here. Um, I actually can't really even remember what they looked like. Um, but they were very different um, and I think they weren't as tall as this one. Now, we have seen um, ones like this just labeled Gateway, not made for the Smoky Stover brand name. Um, they were just like labeled Gateway Scientific, just for their like regular brand. And I've also seen them labeled M Heart as well. So I'm pretty sure M Heart rebranded them. Um, now, there's this battery, this warning flag, not battery, on here, which is pretty interesting. It's attached nothing on that side 
and take the bracket off. Now this one's bracket is fairly bit bigger than the Sears one, as you can see. But here's the reverse side. So this one is Smoky Stover model 4001. Alarm signals, a continuous sounding of the horn. These, um, there's one video online of a, it's like a TV news program segment type thing, and they have one of these, but it's a Gateway Scientific labeled one because you can see the Gateway logo on the back when they show it. And they test it in that film, that clip, and it sounds a continuous piezo, so I'm really interest, interested to see what this one will sound like. Um, if it's anything like those, it will have a continuous piezo. So there's your UL listing. Uh, this one is dated March 21st, 1983, so it is, it's older than this one. This one's from 1985. However, you might remember this unit right here. This is another Sears unit. This was made by Nalcor. These are actually also manufactured by Gateway Scientific, or Gateway Scientific is, has a relation to these. This one is slightly later as well. It was from 1987, yeah. So these came first, um, probably. Um, and then the other thing, this one was assembled in Hong Kong. Um, so that definitely tells me that this one's earlier because the earliest ones were made in Hong Kong. And then, uh, this one's made in Mexico. The, the next, the middle, mid-production models are made in USA. And then the latest ones like this one were made in Mexico. So, yeah, this one's an earlier one. So let's get a battery in it now, if I can find my battery I just had somewhere over here. Where did I put it? One second. All right, I found the battery. It went behind the computer for some stupid reason. So let's put this battery in the unit and it might go off, it might not. I might need two hands for this. Okay, okay, okay. It's falsing, and it doesn't sound in a continuous piezo, it sounds in a pulse pattern, so... Uh, I mean, that's a little disappointing, but... I mean, it's still pretty cool. I definitely... Definitely still an interesting piece to have. I don't know why it's falsing. Let's put the battery in again. Well, I might have to take this one apart and see if I can't fix that, but uh, at least you got to hear it go off. So I think that one is actually about the same pitch as this one, actually. If this one will work. Nope, this one's a bit higher pitched. How about this one? Nope, it's the same pitch as the Sears. Um, let's test it once more, I guess. Okay. Yeah, um, it's not that loud, actually, so, yeah, is that test button, like, huh, weird, I will, I'll see if I can't figure that out and fix it, so, um, but yeah, it's still a very cool unit, um, a little bit disappointed, honestly, that it doesn't do the continuous piezo, but, um, let's take a look at the manual now. So, looks like it opens up like this. Oh, it's upside down. I don't see a copyright date on here. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, but there is the... Oh no, that's not. I thought that was the California State Fire Marshal. Oh wait, no, that is the California State Fire Marshal thing. It's just, like, abbreviated 
And I don't see a warranty registration card, though. Although it said something about the lifetime warranty, so it obviously had a warranty. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not sure if there's anything else to say about this unit. So that is, let's get the bracket here. That is about it for this video. That is the unboxing and, I guess, kind of test of the Smoky Stover by Gateway Scientific Model 4001 smoke detector. So thank you for watching, and more to come. Okay guys, a quick update. I don't know what I did. Um, actually, no, I do know what I did. I, whoops. I just took some uh, compressed air and blew out the sensor. I think there's some dust or something in there, because as you heard, it just falsed again. But it's not falsing continuously like it was. So let's do a real test now with the button. Okay, maybe a real test. <laughs> um, it's still got issues, but like I, th I think the sensor's good. I think it's just a little dirty from age. Yeah. Um, but I also forgot to show inside. You can kind of see there's a sensor right there. It's actually the exact same sensor that's used in this one, the Sears. You can sort of see it there. It's like got swirled vents. This thing would focus. You can kind of see it in there. Um, and that one's the exact same. And the horn in this one is actually black, which is different. You can see it right there. The horn in this one is white, but it's the exact same design. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's it officially for this video. So thank you for watching, and there will be more to come.